A real human skin grown in a laboratory in France could dramatically reduce the need for animal testing. Sky News has been given exclusive access to what researchers from the cosmetics firm L'Oreal claim is a major breakthrough. Our Europe correspondent Greg Milan reports now from Lyon. It is the size of a fingertip and it could revolutionize scientific research. It sounds like something from a movie but the team behind the glass at this laboratory in Lyon are growing human skin. This is the first time TV cameras have been allowed in to see their work, called EpiSkin. It's taken 30 years to perfect. This tiny piece of real human skin was grown here in these laboratories, and what it means is that cosmetics can be tested for things like irritation without the need for animals to be used in those tests. The European Commission has estimated that this technology will save the lives of 20,000 animals every year. For years, the cosmetic industry has tried to find a way to test its products and ingredients without that testing being on animals. In a business worth millions, it's become the holy grail. EpiSkin is made by the cosmetics firm L'Oreal. It's grown from donor cells taken from the leftovers after cosmetic surgery. Its creator says it crosses no ethical boundaries. But it's extremely important because uh, following the regulation in 2009, the cosmetic industry won't have the uh, possibility to sell a cosmetic with raw material that would have been tested on animals. So it was absolutely fundamental to get a model uh, to test without animal the irritancy of products. And anti-vivisection groups say testing on the new human skin will give more accurate results. I think that te being able to test uh, on human skin models such as EpiSkin and similar models such as EpiDerm are brilliant because they're faster, more reproducible and reliable, but more importantly they're more relevant to humans uh, than using rabbit, uh, the live rabbit tests. So this is a real advance for human safety, not only for getting animals out of labs. There still will be animal tests in food, pesticide and medicine production, but the new skin can be used in chemical research and the cost, at least, of beauty won't be so high. Greg Milam, Sky News, Lyon.